All right, we are back. We are still a little ways to go before we can clear out this uh, this second crystal. Back to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. This is our first recording post Magfest 2016, and Which was amazing. Yeah, I don't know about you. Maybe it's just because we are not blessed by the light of the crystals, but my world's a little darker right now. Okay. All right. So I cleared those out. I Is think you have I to. Here? What do you have to do? Uh. Oh yeah. I got to try to put the water on this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then it's like. Arr. Heal the leaf. You blew up the leaf. Again. Oh, that's blowing up the leaf. What the? We go give it to her dad. Um. I do not remember. I actually do not remember. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's do a little exploring here. You did. You Ooh. do have the uh, like the elixir or the holy water or whatever it is, I right? I certainly hope so. Yeah, that's that item. No, that, right here. Oh no, no that's, that's the. Did you go through the whole dungeon and not pick that thing up? The water. I guess. Yeah. Oh no wait. You got the, the crest, that's what it is. That's right, so now I gotta go back to the cave and... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's... Yay. I'm sitting here going like, wait a second. <laughs> Just, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. We may have already played this. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> this is the worst spring ever! And I hate spring! Phoebe has some serious, like, <laughs> highs and lows things going on. It's always, we can do it! It's hopeless now. <laughs> Bipolar Phoebe. Alright. At least we're there to be moral support. <laughs> we need wake water to melt the ice. Okay, so there we go. Damn it, Phoebe! <laughs> it's hopeless is like her tagline. <laughs> Hear me! Phoebe, it's hopeless McCracken. Oh, hold on. He's got some wake water. Oh, hey. All right. It's like a teapot sort of looking thing. I know he said it's a it, bag, which is why it you're storing... Is literally a bag of water? Uh, yeah. It's a bag of water. While you're storing water in a bag, yeah. I, I Wa don't really... Well, water skins. I guess, it's but you still wouldn't call there. it a bag. Hey! That's a boat. Huh. And also, nowhere you can go. Not a lot going on there. Let's head back. Now let's try throwing that on the leaf. Nope, nothing there. <laughs> Always check for hidden passages. Yeah, anytime you see, like, that one square gap and all, it's just the instinct is, ah, oh, there's got to be something there. Absolutely. All right. Now we heal the leaf. Maybe. Will it work? Find out. Oh, I'm on autopilot. No. It's totally happening. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nice. Come on. Hey, Phoebe, is it hopeless? It worked. Oh, we cured the leaf. <laughs> That's it? Hold on. Miss, it's hopeless. 17 times since we've met knows that there's another way to cure the town besides <laughs> the water. Not just another way. She knows the solution to fixing all of our problems. And I apparently know exactly where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so why did we even go to the other cave? <laughs> so now, the crystals, that's that's a surefire thing, but just in case, let's check out the, like... Let's, let's see if we can heal the, this leaf. The, the and... side dungeon first, because, I mean, you know, if the side dungeon does, also curiosity. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, you can totally chop the trees. Not that there's... Asymmetrical park. <laughs> All right. Not that there's any benefit to doing so. Oh, I remember this one. This is uh, pillar pushing. Yeah, a little bit of puzzle solving here. Huh? Not much, but a little. Let's push this out of our way. But, no. Haha. -ha. Now you stay there, I think. Uh, not yet. Not we'll yet. just cl clear enemies and such first. But... Yeah. We're gonna have to push that around a couple times to be able to jump some of these ravines. Yeah. Like, they, they have full-on guitar sounds in the sound font. Right. 
Oh. It's like the most metal Final Fantasy. Favorite concert for MAGFest? Oh, tough question, dude. It's There were a lot. My only regret in... I guess it's only a minor regret. I kind of dragged to six or seven different things. Is I actually missed the, um, the chiptune group. It was okay. on at like 11 at night. Yeah, I missed a lot of the chiptunes in hey, general, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I was really hoping to catch um, Chipsell, the super hexagon yeah. music person. But, all right, so that's gotta... the only enemy. So yeah, I think I have to push it to that gap first. I think it's the, to the gap to the left. Yeah, the one you were looking at over there. Yep, yep. Yeah, because then I get down to her and free that next one up, and it's kind of... I think favorite concert was Bit Brigade because they did Ninja Gaiden, which you guys now know. That's like yeah, one of my favorite games. And yeah, it was like the one game I wanted them to play and do the music for, and then they did it and almost flawlessly. I was gonna say who uh, who wore it better, us or them? <laughs> them clearly. Them. They also had a four-piece rock ensemble to back it up, so that kind of helps their case. Pr production values do matter in this industry. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Noah only died one time. It was because the oh, wow. uh, well, the stage lights were kind of screwing up his vision, so he probably he doesn't even usually die once in these games. I'm trying to be too finicky. I'm saving arrows like that's a thing. Implying <laughs> you're not to find like three chests in the next ten steps that all give you arrows. Probably. All right. Lamia? Is it Lamia? It is Lamia. Yeah. Lamia's. So uh, that was probably my. Favorite overall concert, but there were a lot of real gems. Like the first uh, concert of the event was a dude named Little Paw, who really wasn't my thing. Right. Uh, just I think it also might have been like the setup of his uh, system and whatnot. It uh, it just sounded like bips and bleeps with just uh, guitar noise over okay. it. So I mean, I'd like to listen to his uh, like studio recording of, of things to kind of give him a better That's, shot. That is kind of it's a weird thing with music. It's sometimes certain acts just translate so well live, and certain ones are just so much better when they get the time to like you know explore the space, as they say. Yeah. So it was kind of a weird start to my Magfest concert experience. Right. But then the the show afterwards was Family Jewel Seven X from YouTube. He does a lot of like video game medley covers. Okay. And he was freaking hilarious. A great stage presence, really good uh, guitarist. He had a good ensemble with him, and uh, just because everyone was talking about it this year, as soon as he finishes his set, he starts un unplugging everything, and then he like, goes and plugs everything back in and does like forty seconds of Bone Trussle from Undertale, and then unplugs oh, everything. Oh, has gone nuts. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious! Like everyone was almost halfway out the door, and then he starts playing that, and everyone comes back. Uh, it was a great time. Uh, Psycho Stick was is hilarious as always. Right. Uh, it's just nothing but fun in that concert. Their promo stuff, like hyping up going to MAGFest was good too. Yeah. Their videos. No, they clearly had a lot of fun both on the stage and getting stage. It was just really good to see them live. And, uh, and I gotta tell you though, the most surprising thing that I didn't know I was going to enjoy, mm -hmm. the Empty Creates sound team, the guys who did Azure Striker Gunvolt and Mega Man Zero, the soundtracks for okay. those. Yeah. They had like demos each night or concerts each night. The first night they were doing I Just Strike a Gun Volt and Lumen Live. The second they did the Mighty Number no. Nine soundtrack. And then uh, the third and final night they did the Mega Man Zero, like a, just a medley of Mega Man Zero music. All right. And the, the coolest thing about that last one is they actually had Manami Matsume come out on stage with them. That is that is sweet. I know she yeah. was there, but I didn't know if she was only playing like a personal concert thing or if. No, they they put her on a, on keyboard and they actually played Cutman with her. Nice. Yeah, no, it was a great, great concert all, all around. And all three times that they played was just a magnificent experience. And it was it was just great to see all of them there, you know. It was, yeah. It was like I told you, I'm, I'm super hyped that she's part of the music team for Star Mazer. Yeah. She's yeah. doing so much more now, it seems, than she did, like, in the earlier stages of career. Like, Oh, that's right. I can go around you and get the, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. the spell first. And then flank attack. Oh yeah, there's a dungeon here with crabs and uh, Zahagans. All right, I think this is bomb. And, and speaking of crab, at National Harbor, there's a great uh, crab cake place. I know I'm everyone was raving about the crab cake place. I didn't get a chance to go. I, I feel bad. If it's there next time, yeah, we'll go. I recommend the. Um... Nope, nope, nope. Ah, nuts. Oh, 
we're gonna well, at least you bombed them. Alright, so he's not weak against bomb. It must be axe. Right. I'm not sure if he's weak to any weapon, but give it a try. Uh, can you heal confusion? Uh, yes. Right. I believe you can. Yep. Cool. Ooh, icy foam. Wow. Whoa. Alright. Cure thyself. Basically. I forget who's faster. I think Phoebe. No, Phoebe is still faster. Oh, no. Life it is. <laughs> Good thing she has your favorite spell in the game. It's like <laughs> Medio and Ultima all wrapped into one. <laughs> and full life. Full Nelson. <laughs> Snow Crab from the top rope. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's two crits for her now. Yeah. And he is. Okay, it is Axe. Okay. They've always known crabs would be weak against like hammer weapons in games, but I guess that they're, they're kind of the same. It's, yeah, there really is. There's no mallet weapon. Three. She four, is wrecking three. this crab. All right, let's throw a heal out. Have her heal. Yeah, yeah, she's a lot quicker. All right, <laughs> healing is such a joke in this game. Oh, nifty. crab down. Now bomb. Oh. Now Jumbo Bomb. So why weren't you using them? I mean, <laughs> I, I get it. The Bow of Grace is insane, but... Bam. Yeah. It, it barely even counts as a dungeon. Yeah. Because it's just, like, a short puzzle, five enemies, Jumbo Bomb. That's... It's, I guess it's not your first example to it in this game. No, I guess it is, kind of, because the previous dungeon just had, like, the climb the walls thing, but uh -huh. they come to it a couple times. I mean, there's more than one dungeon in the game here where you kind of have to go somewhere, do one thing, go somewhere else, do another thing. Yeah. Uh, the next one we got coming up here, the Ice Pyramid, is a good example of that. Yeah. I think the best example of that, though, is the, uh, the fire dungeon, we'll call it, without getting into oh, spoiler yeah, 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 territory. Yeah, yeah. Because, oh no, there's a fire dungeon in a game with four elemental crystals. That's right. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to you on that and some other stuff here in a bit. Yep. Alright, one more. Mm, done. Going to be so many of these still. Yep, many battlegrounds. Hopefully this one will actually give us something worthwhile. I didn't notice. Was every fight in this one going to strike first? Uh, most of them. Yeah. I know that's a thing with some battlefields. Like, I think the final battlefield in the game, every fight is back attack. Time. Yeah. yeah. Or unexpected attack, or what have you. It's always something. Yeah, like sometimes, like you always have like a certain number of enemies. Ah, just, to, just XP. Yeah. Oh well. Always a certain like table set of enemies. Unlike this dungeon. Hmm. I can't reach it. Let's push it with something. <laughs> I appreciate the light bulb. Not the axe. Not the claw. Probably not the bomb. bomb. There. Hey. All right. Now I know the enemies in here are invisible. Ah, uh, spoilers. And there's a thing I need to get to make them visible. Yeah. But I don't remember where it is, so I'm gonna have to kind of hunt here for a little bit. <clears throat> I think you chose the right path at the start. Like it's on the right area somewhere. Yeah, that's kind kind of working off vague recall here. This seems appropriate. Oh. You guys look familiar. <laughs> Are there still desert tags? Yeah, in the in the <laughs> in the ice in the ice dungeon. I know. Yeah. So why weren't these guys in the uh, the level dungeons uh, back over in Sandtown? Oh, the bone dungeon. Yeah. It would have made sense, wouldn't it? You think. And then just bring one of the random enemies over there that wasn't in any, you know, way, shape, or form actually desert-themed and throw them in here. Was it, it was like a salamander, some worms, and I think it was like goblins or something like that. It wasn't... The skeletons would have worked okay in here. Yeah, but it was bone oh, dungeon. that's your bone dungeon. Um, hmm. Mm. I don't know. Or just... Or just come up with just, an actual ice-themed enemy. Or just call it Water Hag. <laughs> there you go. Palette swap. Why not? When all else fails. That was the... That's just how it works in these games, man. No one has time to come up with, like, 112 unique enemies in these days. Come up with 23. There we go. The magic mirror. Yeah. Or something. And the crowd goes wild. 